Hello everyone, my name is Kaza Marie and some of you know me as a LARP girl and today I'm going to be giving you some advice, some things that I've learned throughout the years that have kind of helped me develop a character, get into the mindset of a character, and something I can go back to again and again to continue to inspire me to build. These are going to be some a bit more modern techniques. So a lot of my dearest, sweetest friends and other LARPers have shown me some really great tips and tricks and uh, the things that I would never have thought of and, and I want to share those with you because they are really, really useful and I hope that you can get something out of it. Here are my three easy tips on how to get in the mind of your character. Here is some stunning fabric uh, that I'll be making a costume out of and I'm really excited about it so I wanted to show you just how absolutely beautiful it is. It's going to be two different fabrics on top of each other and it's going to be our third tip for how to get into the mindset, how to develop your character, just some fun things to do while you're becoming someone else. <laughs> the first tip I want to give you on how to get into the mindset of your character is start a playlist. Just any old playlist, any any playlist that, that you want to do, just search for something that inspired you to make that character. Uh, find music that really starts to pull the mindset. As you go to write your character history or start deciding on the costume, these songs can get you in the mindset of who this person might be before you even begin to write their story. The second advice that I would give you is create a Pinterest board. Yeah, that's right, a, a Pinterest board. Just something that you can start developing this character about, an aesthetic, a, a costuming piece that you need to create or you want to incorporate into your costume, something that inspires you. So if you get some visuals on, on the character, uh, you'll not only, you know, from the playlist have the mindset, but now you might actually have a, a visual of the person and, and that kind of starts to make you feel like them because you might feel inspired to dress like them one day or you might notice that there are similar things about your appearance to their appearance. So it's really nice once you've created the mindset of a character to then create the appearance. So after you've created a playlist, you've created a Pinterest board, the third tip is going to be create something for your character. I think that creating something for your character is really important. The reason why is because it gives you more time to think about where it came from. Making something as simple as your own mug or something like a brand new dress or whittling your own wand, those can be really, really important to your character and just add some some more time for you to reflect on who they are and why they got that item, which is cool because you can incorporate that in your backstory. So I'm going to be taking this dress as a template for what I'm going to create and then I'm going to use this fabric that I've found and turn this into a fairy princess dress and I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be very bold. I actually enjoy turning old things into something new. So this was a really good thrift store find and some really great cheap fabric. Getting into the mindset of a character or starting to develop a brand new character that you've never played before. Maybe this is a character at a new LARP or perhaps it's a character that you're just going to play for the weekend. You want to do something new. Finding inspiration for that sometimes for me has been a little challenging because I, I go to a few too many LARPs <laughs> and I have to make a new character for each one if I'm not casted. I really like to feel like my character when I start to play them. I like to have the right aesthetic, I like to be in the right mood, I like to really just let myself become that person and doing that and, and finding that depth and finding that creativity sometimes is really challenging for me so I hope that these three tips have helped you and so listen to the music, feel the good energy off of the music, start a Pinterest board and get an idea of what the person will look like and what you're going to create and where they come from and, and all of the beautiful things that come from 
knowing who a person is and then make something for them make something special make it you know it'll be special for you and it'll be special to that character and I've always challenged myself to try and create something specifically with my YouTube channel I have always pushed myself to create uh, my videos my costumes uh, my do my really terrible tutorials that are super old but I've always pushed and I've always been really really satisfied with the creative energy that comes from my my LARP stuff so if you can create something try try anything that you feel inspired to and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it not even yourself because as long as you are having fun with it and you are creating and you're putting energy into it you'll you'll come, you'll come out with something great so <laughs>